those guys having it dialed in. The good dirt here in Texas. And, oh, uh, no, Ryder. Oh, wow. Seeing that coming. First time he went for the rhythm. All right, what's up, guys? It is currently 6.30 in the morning, and it's actually raining right now. <laughs> it's not supposed to stop raining until about 10. It doesn't really matter because it's not going to cancel the race at all. And no matter what, because it's Serena Cross and it's indoor. I got to load <laughs> the bikes in the freaking rain. So that's nice. Let's go on and go downstairs. Alright, so I'm like now realizing I could have slept in for like another whole hour. I'm only putting up the bikes for like another like two hours, so that's nice. So in my last video, if you guys were wondering, this is typically my go-to breakfast. I'll get three eggs, I'll whisk it in a bowl, put some salt and pepper in it, put it in here. I mix in some spinach to add some iron in it. And then I like to actually spice it up with some limon and put some salsa on it. That's how I make them. Mm -hmm. Time to load up bikes. Yeah. My bike is high, dude. Uh, let's get a peanut butter. Oh, I don't think I'm allowed to go in there. Brian, here's a packet of water. Do you know where the packet of water is? Right now, actually, so. Oh, wait, but, no, yeah, where are the packets? Do you have the packets of water? I was in the restroom, so I didn't want to Where are the packets of water? Oh, I don't know. I don't even think they have one. It's track walk time. Dude, oh, shoot, it's muddy. What the hell, oh, God? I feel cursed about this track walk. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, jeez, this is steep. I don't have any grip on my shoes. Dude, I want to thank all my sponsors, uh, Feel, Spy, and uh, GoPro. Okay, so this, so yeah, double. I think and if you're oh, crazy, no, you no. want you triple it. Maybe if we should like roll this one and double it so we're getting the most speed. No, yeah. no, because if we, that would be our break. That last, we would double and that would be our break. So we're gonna have to be a sign on the break. Yeah. yeah, that's why people like to double and then roll. Here, come on, let's go look at the whoops first. Because the whoops is kind of what we gotta worry about the most. Dude, there's so much like tire things. These are gnarly. You can double them. Like the Yeah, dude, I know. Double. It's so sketchy, dude. My freaking shoes are. Yes. Dude, these whoops, man. They actually look really fun. I wanna hit them. <laughs> I wanna go. Da, 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 da. Dude, that finish line. Go. Rap. Bro. Right, 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 right. From here, it looks actually way more easier. Right. <laughs> face. What do you face? Oh, shoot. Oh. We're gonna have to like carry speed from here and jump that over the table and then jump the double. See, clearing the table is no problem. It's that, just that's not a double. <laughs> yeah. This one seems a little like peakier, you know? That one's more easy to clear because if you case it, you won't have that much of a. Yeah, like, dude, because like if you like overshoot it, it's no problem. You're fine. You're fine. But with this one, this one you gotta worry because if yeah. you case it, you're going forward and doing the jet, the jet. Dude, that double right there is steep. Or that triple, or whatever, you, however you wanna hit that. Once we're in the bikes, we'll probably be like, oh, it's so easy. No, that's not how that works. Because if you double this one, it's like, dude, you come up short, you're kind of fine. It's a lot more forgiving. But dude, this finish line is steep. Do you see that? I don't think we're hitting this today. I don't think that's a possibility. Because, dude, it's so steep. I'm slipping. I don't know, man. Now that I'm looking at this, I don't, I don't know, know about that one. I don't know. Yeah, like if, you, if you go. Dude, it's, it's I don't know, it's, it's annoying because it's it's not that, I'm not scared that I'm going to freaking over jump it. Yeah, it's just that. I'm scared of pacing. I know, I'm scared of going sideways. Oh, yeah. Because like, that's my biggest problem right now. It's going sideways and it's annoying. That's why these whoops are really intimidating too because I just like to go sideways most of the time. My legs are really weak. I don't really know why. Hey, we're going to start the rider training.
Gates, wow. drop it, we are underway. Jump out of the number 15 Geico ride there. Oh, with Kawasaki rider coming in there, but it's the number 15. Oh, Cowie oh, down. Down in the face of that table. And there's the number 15 Honda. We're gonna get his name when he comes by the stripe there, and it's uh, Leroy's. <laughs> he is gonna lead the way. Most hammered track of the night. Seeing quads. It's seen. Seen some UTVs. At UTVs the, uh, earlier, intermission. Seen that big ball right there. What's that called? The ball of death. These guys having it dialed in the good dirt here in Texas. And, oh uh, no, Ryder! Oh wow! Seen that coming. First time he went for the rhythm. Oh wow! I just looked at the leaders board to see who is in second. Tanner yeah. Crum just taking over the lead, and boom, the guy goes down. That's Larose. <laughs> yep, yeah, so Larose going down there. Drop back, looked like he was all right there on his Honda. A little seat bounce there. And there here's that replay, Steve. Yeah. So, so cleans the table. Not quite the commitment needed. Clip. Oh, and there's the clip. He lands right on his bike. That wasn't, yeah, that wouldn't have felt good. Oh, we've seen that twice tonight. We've seen uh, the case in that pit bike class, and then this right here. It's like. That's uh, going to leave a mark, that one. Tough look there for LaRoe as he gets up. He's back running again, but uh, he's just going to take his time. Had that main event win in his back pocket. Threw it away there in that double. Yeah, our early leader just kind of cruising around trying to figure out what went wrong. Yeah. What's going to hurt tomorrow? Oh, gosh. Hopefully he learned from what he just saw and does not put this thing off into the grandstands. I yell ya. Let Joe go, and he's going to get that Sunoco checkered flag in the last main event win here. Tanner Crum is your 250 beginner. Yo craziest event ever dude i almost got my first win like that was wild i got i got the whole oh here we go i'm talking about gopro the only reason why they gave go us free go <laughs> free goggles and stuff is because we pay them like we'll yeah dude they, they have even, so much money they after have so that much money now honestly but yo like freaking i got the whole shot and i was like go to you 
I was actually screaming the whole laugh and everything, bro. It was so fun, bro. I I don't even care, cause like, yo, I so and then you guys, as you guys saw, I crashed real hard and I landed on my hip, so now I'm like limping real bad. I, I thought I was gonna be like, oh, I did a Brian again, which I fell in the main event. <laughs> like, I, did, I do so good on every other thing, but the main event, oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was up front. I was hitting doubles that I wasn't really comfortable with, to be honest, and I was coming up a little short. And that was kind of foreshadowing to me actually coming up real short and just dying. And I ended up bending my bars, probably my front tire. The levers were all bent too. Like my front levers, like, yeah. And then my clutch snapped off. Hey, yo, I got the whole shot and I got free goggles. This is just actually dope. You got the whole shot though. You got free goggles. I got free goggles and I got my first whole shot ever. I almost got my first win, bro. Usually I'd be mad, bro, but that was the funnest thing ever. And honestly, I wouldn't change the thing. That was amazing. That was sick. Gay. Okay.